righteous. I am righteous. I am righteous on legal ground. What God has done for you in Christ is right. That's to say what God has done for you is not conditioned by how he feels. So this has not to do with that. whether God feels good or he doesn't feel good. Legal demands have been fulfilled. And this has nothing to do with the feelings of God. How many of you know that in the court of law, after the judge declares you a criminal and to be in prison for 10 years, even if you and all your family members fall on the ground and start crying, it doesn't change anything. The judge is not operating by feeling. No, the judge is operating by justice. So see, whether you feel righteous or you don't feel righteous, you are righteous. It's not whether, how many of you have stood up and you didn't feel like a man? Is there anybody like that? Is there any woman here that has woken up one morning and you didn't feel like a wife? Is there any? Well, whether you feel like a man or not, you're a man. Whether you feel like a woman or not, you're a woman. It's not a feeling thing. Justice has decided that you're a man. And justice has decided that you're a woman. So whether you feel it or you don't feel it, that's who you are. Justice has decided that you're righteous. So whether you feel righteous or you don't feel righteous, you are righteous. Even if you walk like a criminal, it's just a righteous man that is feeling like a criminal and submitting himself to his feelings. After the feelings clear, you will still stand up as a righteous man. So therefore, instead of submitting yourself to your feeling, submit yourself to knowledge. And know in your knower that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. When you pray, pray like a righteous man. When you talk, talk like a righteous man. And when you go out, go out like it's not a feeling. God didn't declare you righteous because he felt nice. He declared you righteous because the demands of justice were met. That's not new with your feelings. Sometimes you feel low. Sometimes you know some of you have mood swings. The reason why some of you suffer from mood swings is because you have not allowed the Holy Spirit to play his part in your life. Today you are Tomorrow your, your life is just like that. Things just regulate you. You lack equilibrium. You are, you are fluctuating like market price. You are like Nepalite. Erratic. You have no stability. You have no... Your life is like this. Today you are happy. <laughs> Tomorrow you are not happy. You spoil everybody's mood. You lack stability. Imagine if I was like you. Some Sundays you come, I'm angry. As I'm looking at all of you now, you will go to hell today. I mean what I'm saying. Then another Sunday you come. <laughs> today you are blessed that's why with god there's no shadow of turning imitate your father make up your mind to be a stable person so that people can trust you people don't know how to relate with you because you're full of mood swings small time you're happy small time so you're confusing yourself and everybody and even angels yeah you're, you're full of because you have not allowed you can't have holy ghost and be having mood swings no 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 when you are full of the spirit there is only one way to behave speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart when your heart is full of melody you won't be depressed you're full of mood swings something didn't work for you you're depressed something worked for you you're jumping like a little child something didn't work you're, you lack stability you have not known god when you grow in the knowledge of god you become stable you become unmovable you become reliable and you become a stable character god can rely on you to do things because he knows you have matured you're not in a pious touch your neighbor and say get out of those mood swings and gain some stability that god might be seen to be just and the justifier how did he do it he didn't do it because of something the person did it was a third party god didn't justify you because you did something you are justified because of what a third party has done romans chapter 4 verse 5 but to him that walketh not but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly his faith is counted his faith is counted for what what did he do to be called righteous he did something he prayed are you sure he fasted for three weeks are you sure if your righteousness came without any contribution why do you think you have to fast before god will give you money there's a concept that has been sold to the church that we need to sell back to where it came from trying to convince god as to why god will do what he has already done i don't know if you understand god is not going to do what he has done he has already done it it's just you that didn't know he has done it it gives your father pleasure to give you the kingdom you didn't walk you believe and you're justified the same thing you don't have to do anything you believe and everything you need begins to fall in place he who spared not his son but gave him up for us all 
how shall he not with him also freely all things are yours god is not interested in giving you things he's interested in giving you himself because when you have him you have everything glory to god it's not about feelings that's why i love the song they used to sing i'm not moved by what i feel yeah you don't be moved by feelings say ah, ah, ah. i am feeling pain in my arm ah, ah, ah. i think the sickness is coming back shut up your mouth which sickness tell your arm behave yourself it can't stay here don't you know this is the temple of the holy spirit you ignore it the thing is gone you don't have to shout fire fire holy ghost ah, ah, ah. just tell it he can't stay here he can't stay here because you are the one to give room and you are the one not to give room so if you say he can't stay here he cannot stay here resist the devil ah, somebody say i'm resisting he's not fleeing you and the bible which is correct bible say resist so if he's not fleeing you're not resisting because if you really resist he will flee the scriptures cannot be broken i declare for everybody as your amen will come like thunder every satanic intrusion in your life is resisted now every satanic assault i command it to stop i command it to stop every harassment of the enemy on your righteousness guilt condemnation the voice of the enemy attacking what christ has done for you i command it to shut up i command it to shut up i declare by his righteousness as your amen is coming like thunder receive the dividends of redemption receive the benefits of redemption receive the blessings of redemption receive the dividends of righteousness in the mighty name of jesus i declare this morning maloka kotana kotaba anything the devil has cornered you and would wink you and denied you which redemption has provided by giving you images images of failure images of the past images of struggle and images of hardship i command the devil right now satan hear you the word of the lord i bind you and i command you take your hands off of god's property get your hands from god's property i lose your mind i lose your mind i cast down imagination i rebuke fear i rebuke fear satan get your hands off in the name of jesus i declare for everybody under the sound of my voice reign in life reign in righteousness your body is healed your career is restored your business is restored the favor of god is on you the grace of god is on your family you will run and not be weary you will walk and not faint in the place of lack receive supply in the place of difficulty receive help in the place of struggle receive ease based upon the finished work of christ i decree that in this life you are the one reigning you are the one reigning 